Welcome to Barbell Brigade. I'm Alex. I'm Gio. No, I don't have a license for these, but I'm Lou. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so today's topic <laughs> is what are some activities that you guys do outside of the gym to help your training inside of the gym? What? People do shit outside of the gym? Hell yeah! I do shit all the time. I know he does. I know. I, I know he does. Gymnastics, ballet. How come you suck at everything then? <laughs> <laughs> well, what is he looking at? I'm doing my ballet still, but I can't swim. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking crazy. I do everything. Too. Yoga, Pilates. When was the last time you did yoga? Yeah. Oh, yeah like two years ago. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Is there anything that you guys do currently right now that you guys do outside of the gym? Like hiking. That hiking? Yeah, yeah, hiking's always a good one. It's fun. I, I like, like to it too. The only thing is that I don't like is when I wear a tank top. That I get, and you uh, get a really bad side. Yeah, right? and it looks like I have another tank top under my tank top. <laughs> Because you start turning purple because you get so No, I turn it. <laughs> I get darker. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think. Because I know you play kickball, right? Yeah, I play kickball too. Yeah, like Professional. Like kickball. an elementary st school student. I want to play kickball, but I'm trying to think of like what I actually... Because my time is so limited. I have such a crazy busy schedule. The uh -huh. only thing I'm doing as activities are like things that we film for JK Films. So, what do you do? Me? Uh, Can you stop that man? Did you almost hung up? I know we legalized it in California. Congrats. Yeah. yeah. Well, besides doing the activities that we do, um, I used to play basketball a lot before. Nah, I like nah, I swear, that's why I have a basketball <laughs> in my truck. Dude. I used to play basketball Ball, a lot. He's like that guy in the picture ball his life. <laughs> You know what, what I'm talking about? No. The Asian one with the glasses? Like, Why do you think like, <laughs> maybe <laughs> racist, uh, I used to play basketball a lot and then I stopped doing that because every time I played basketball, I started getting injured. Really? Yeah. My, oh. Why did you get hurt? Like, I always sprained my ankle. I don't even think I remember the last time you played basketball. Yeah, because you... When was the last time you played basketball? I think last time I played was... Oh, that was a long time ago. If you yeah. have to look at the ceiling for the answers. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. What's really? crazy is a lot of people always tell me, this is kind of like off topic, but a lot of people always tell me, like, dude, be careful when you're powerlifting. You're going to get injured. Like, you're so... You're going to be so, yeah. like, accident prone in that sport. Yeah. And then I'm thinking, dude, you know there's way more injuries in basketball. Like, ten times more yeah. injuries in basketball. I used to play soccer, and then... And of course you know. <laughs> <laughs> A football <one? laughs> Yeah, that's actually right. But I used to get way more hurt with that than I did with powerlifting. Like I sprained ankle, sprained fingers, sprained wrist. Yeah, that's also a context for Sprained toes, sprained ears, nose, everything. Serious contact. I think like I've heard that sports like uh like Football, uh -huh. uh, <laughs> um, basketball are actually really dangerous for like uh, men around 25 to 30. People, dude. Yeah, I mean, people. I hear a lot of ACL I tears. Tore, I was about to say, I tore my meniscus oh, really? playing basketball, yeah. Really? Shit. Yeah, that's the knee part right you here. You must be good at basketball. Yeah. Me? No. You, can yeah. you can post up. <laughs> You're jealous. <laughs> Her name's but, um, Jaquil. Jaquil. <laughs> No, but um, the only thing that kind of sucked when like you do stuff outside of the gym uh -huh. is when you're sore. Yeah. So I remember one time I we had just squatted like crazy, and then the following like not the sec not the sec not the day after but the day after that uh -huh. we went hiking and I was sore as shit. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, why am I even here? But that actually helps because of the whole active rest. But yeah. you know the thing is, actually, it's very important that you do like those outside activities. For instance, like hiking. Even though you think, oh, all I'm doing is just kind of walking the whole time. Hell no. Dude, the next that day, you're, you're you're sore and you're like, dude, why am I sore? Like I squat all the time, whatever. Yeah. But it yeah. works different muscle groups. Exactly. So, yeah. So those like well, it's like unstable surface, so it actually it forces you to stabilize a lot more. Yeah. And it's just a fun way to do something outside of the gym if you know you're always in the gym. Like yeah. I love hiking because like. Obviously, we're always inside, so I'm just like so I like to try, I like to do Next. different things. Yeah, playing sports is a lot of fun too. Yeah, heck yeah. And then you actually because of the gym, um, it transfers over to your activities. Like I know for sure I could jump higher than I jumped before. Oh really? Yeah, because squats help a lot. Yeah, squats help a lot with your. Jumping. That's very true. I I played volleyball and then like I remember my vertical huh. back then and huh. then now after because I didn't squat back then. No. But then now um after squatting and stuff, I look at my vertical now and I'm like, dude, yeah. significant difference. But it could jump over lifting. the rim. But sometimes right? it's counterproductive. Like, like for example, powerlifting strength gains. Like if you're trying to get stronger, running is like 
the Cap worst. Yeah. Counterproductive because with running, it's just like you're expending energy constantly, so you're burning fat, you're burning muscle, you're gonna lose weight, and with weight loss, you're also gonna lose strength. So you also gotta think about depending on what your goals are at the moment, right? Yeah. I guess you can like you gotta outweigh like one or the other because I know Mary, she's a swimmer and a. Uh, a powerlifter, but she's like, yeah, I'm but she's a beast. She's, she's a, a monster. She's yeah, a beast. you're the real MVP. Exactly, like you were saying, it just it really does depend on your goals, and um, you just have to be, you have to find that balance. True. And I think once in a while, like if you're a powerlifter and you want to make these gains, yeah. If you don't have a competition coming up anytime soon, I think a run. Yeah. Once in a while, is you can not gonna still do that, but like you said, just. I guess you gotta like limit yourself sometimes, but with enough yeah, time, you can go, go crazy. You can go ham. Ew. Ultimately, it's whatever you want to do, though. I'm also a professional dancer. Where do you dance at? He's doing it. Let us know below what do you guys do outside of the gym. If it doesn't, if it takes less than five seconds to complete one rep, you're not grinding hard enough. No. You gotta load up as much on the hammer strength machines. No. Oh. No. <laughs> Don't listen to anything they're saying. Max out on flies. <laughs> <laughs> do the whole stack. You know I used to try to do the whole stack. I would do it. Like, oh, <laughs> my shoulders are starting. I'd be like, oh, 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 I got it, I got it. <laughs> I just like lean forward and shit. <laughs> hey, that was fun. No, but seriously, do the opposite of everything they just said. Actually, be very conservative with your lips. 